unscrew the bracket from the base. I am not an electrician, so this is just how I did it. Consult an electrician if you are at all timid about this project. Screw the bracket up to your box and then screw all the wires through your base, then thread it together, then hook up your ground wire. After your ground wire is hooked up, suspend it with a ladder or something else, then take your L and N, that's live and neutral, and put them to the corresponding wires. Generally, L is black and white is neutral, but always get an electrical tester and always turn off your circuit breakers. A little um, tester is always a good idea. Turn off the switch and your breaker before doing any of this. It should have been the first thing I said. Screw the corresponding wires together um, with the supplied wire nuts. I reuse some different ones, but it does come with wire nuts as well. Go ahead and screw them all together. And once that's done, you can put the base up to uh, the bracket. Then once the bracket is up, just screw the gold screws back into it to mount it nice and secure. Apply lots of pressure. You don't want to strip or mar the finish, and you want it to look nice and good and once it's done you can go ahead and put in all your bulbs screw it tighten up the other side and then you have this view of this gold spudnik chandelier you can see it's hanging down i have it on one of the extension rods you can see here it mounts to the ceiling it has a fairly small base up there so if you're replacing a larger chandelier you might have to uh, do a little bit of sheetrock work to clean it up, but I got lucky there. You can move these arms all around to make whatever kind of design you want. You can put them flat, different angles. I put them at this. I kind of like it. I feel it goes well with the little gold accent wall. Put in these Edison bulbs. Uh, pretty easy to install as well. You can see it has this swivel right here um, that if you're have a sloped ceiling you have high ceilings not a flat ceiling it can be used with that as well and it'll just go flat right here really nice quality gold on it good quality metal just kind of funky which is what we're going for and i think it looks great it works with a dimmer switch which now i'm requested to put in after doing this you can see these bulbs are fairly bright um, because they're clear, but the filaments inside is what my wife wanted, and I don't disagree with her. But now, the next project is a dimmer switch. I think it's a really cool chandelier, and I hope this video helps you with your buying decision.